Well, 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 well. Hold on just one second. Turn the volume up and the music up. It's time. I need to, um, mention. this stuff real quick. I guess it's not gonna pop up on here, is it? So I need to, um, I don't know. Do something with this game, because it's not gonna pop up on the screen, I guess. Uh, t Twitter. I need to tweet. Or do I? I probably don't. I don't see any reason to do this, but fuck it, whatever. There we go. Okay, uh, it's not popping up. Fantastic, love it, love to see it. Gotta love it. Um, full screen, off. And I have to quit. Uh, redo the thing. Okay, do that. Just deal with the top part existing. Okay, and now it's not gonna do it. Okay, display capture, that's fine. Game capture, capture specific window, capture vampire survivors, go. Come on, you got this. You can do it. I believe in you, this never works, but... Sometimes it's worth a try. And it's not doing it, baby. Hell yeah, let's go. Capture any full screen application, that's a lie. Okay. Then I guess I'm gonna quit. And then... I need to get rid of this. I don't know why I still have this file. Okay, pop this open. Do this. Now this makes it full screen. Until it doesn't. Okay. And now... Display capture, because it's the only way to do this. Okay, here's um, this game. I actually have some things I need to unlock. I have these things that I need to do. This one's going to be really hard to do. Uh, and then you have this other bullshit. Um, but, yeah, so I don't even know what they mean by find the yellow sign. I don't even know what they mean by that. And then I'm almost done with this. I just need 10,000 monies. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to try to beat stage five and then I guess find the boss. I don't even know how that boss appears. Um, I forgot his name. He's like some like dumbass name that I don't remember, but he's supposed to appear after you reach a uh, minute 30, but he doesn't as far as I know. There's no like cutscene or anything, so I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to get that relic. So I guess I'm just gonna play for a while. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play Poe and do the dairy plant. Dairy plant. Welcome to the dairy plant. Um, oh shit. Okay. Do that. And this. Wow. Imagine me playing the game. Here we'll do, uh... We'll do spinach, so we do more damage. No, I didn't mean to pick that up. Shit. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, kill them now. There we go. Now we're doing more damage. We're doing enough damage to just murder them. Um, 
This one. Let's go. Okay. Uh, augments area of attacks, increases duration of weapon effects. I guess we'll do level two of this. Um. So yeah, how have I been? Uh, I saw the boys. I saw the Mario movie. Uh, I guess I'll do my review of the Mario movie. It was okay. Um, there was a lot of random shit. In the film that didn't make sense to me at all. Uh, we're gonna do the empty tome. Um, so first of all, one of the things that annoyed me was the entire film. This is spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, so the entire film, uh... Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, basically it's just like... About Mario like references the movie and uh there's no significance to anything that goes on in the film whatsoever there's nothing interesting that happens in the film whatsoever um the animation is like illumination trying to be pixar but they're not um and uh oof we're not doing that Okay, uh, I guess spinach. Um... Stop hurting me. Stop that. Stop. Stop. Ow. Stop. You're hurting me. Okay. Um... So... Let's do... This one. I'm trying to get the guns. I'm gonna upgrade that fully. Guns are where it's at right now. Base damage. I guess find the yellow sign would be the next thing to do and then getting all the relics. I don't know where the yellow sign is though. Um, health, regeneration. Um, uh, base damage up by one. Perfect. Uh, garlic. Cooldown reduced by 0 0.1 seconds, and then base damage up by two. So now it does more damage. This is getting pretty bad. Base area up by 20% and base damage up by one. And then there's also the empty tome, which would help too. I guess this one, because this is my damage dealer right now. So being able to do more damage with this would be a good idea. Um, fires one more projectile or cooldown reduced by 0 0.1 and base damage up by one. I guess we're doing this one. Again. Level 8? Alright, kill this guy. Kill him. There we go. Now it's uh, fully leveled up. Excellent. There we go. So, um... So the movie first establishes uh, um, that the Bowser attacks this like penguin castle, which I don't even know like what the relation to that penguin castle is to begin with other than, um, I don't know, other than like, I guess, uh, The, they were in Mars, New Super Mario World. Um, 
and for some reason there's a I guess the king well th there was a penguin in the original Mario 64 game that was like large they could have done that but instead they just made the penguin small so they have a massive large penguin that likes to race that could have been the king of the penguins but they weren't or queen of the penguins because I think it was female um so yeah I don't know I don't know what they were thinking with that um and the reason why Bowser attacked them was so he could get the superstar uh so they established the the thing that is the supposed to be the most important thing in the story which is the superstar at the beginning of the of the story right so okay so the superstar is i guess a powerful ultimate weapon of doom and then the film proceeds to i guess make their baby yoda of the movie which was the blue star from the mario galaxy game uh, so that's their baby Yoda where it's like basically um, It's supposed to be cute, but it's like very hostile and um, Is like a doomer Who wants to die uh, So I guess that was pretty good. That's a good one um, And then uh we'll get this cool Thanks. Level three. So it's not even that high yet in terms of level. Um, so, uh, they get this, so he gets the superstar and then it decides, uh, so then we go to the, uh, so then we got a uh, cut to Mario and Luigi and they're doing like a introduction to like the movie where they're like basically they have a commercial where they're actually plumbers so they went back to that uh, idea where they're actually plumbers um so their 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 job is to be to fix people's pipes and stuff um and then they go to and then they go to a house or whatever they finally get a job i guess they've been trying for a while they finally get a job to fix someone's plumbing and then they upset a dog uh, and in this universe I guess dogs are very sentient to the point where breaking their bone upset him and then the dog proceeds to attack Mario and Luigi with no care in the world um, for no reason other than they were upset that they broke the dog toy bone that was just like a shitty like chew bone that they got from Walmart uh yes get this and then um so then the dog proceeds to harass them and then cause more damage to the house um which lends them to basically losing out on you know just straight up getting fired and not getting hired to fix plumbing so they fail because that happens um, and then they go home and then everybody's like Italian and their family I think Waluigi makes an appearance in there unless that wasn't supposed to be Waluigi that was just some guy who kind of looked like him Wario was nowhere to be seen uh, don't know what's what's up with that. Maybe they're saving him as being like a villain in the future films. Um, I don't know. And then uh, he uh, this is coming off of memory, so I don't remember if this is what happens or not. Um, so uh. They, then like Brooklyn is getting it like having like plumbing issues and then they're like we're gonna go and save We're gonna go and save their flooding issue that they're dealing with 
in a city because I guess there's no such thing as people who can fix that. So then they hire, uh, so then they go and do that and then, uh, they fall, they go down the drainage pipe and then start exploring the sewers, which they've never seen before. They've never seen a sewer before. Uh, so they, they start exploring the said sewer after completely failing to fix the issue. And then Luigi gets sucked into a pipe and then they get sucked into the Mushroom Kingdom and then they just launch the entire film. Uh, the film is not structured very well. They could have made the film a lot longer, but I guess they thought that an hour and a half would, would be only enough attention span for kids. So, they, uh, so they do, uh, so they get sucked into it, and then Luigi gets sucked into a different direction, where he gets sent into, um, Cursed World, uh, and then gets chased down by Dried Bones, which, um, okay, that's their reference to that enemy from the game. They live in this cursed realm. And except for booze, they don't exist in this film whatsoever. As far as I could tell. Um, and, uh... Huh. And, um... Let's see. Oh yeah, are we, are we good on these? We are, so once we get another treasure chest, we can actually get the fully leveled up one, and then we can start leveling that up. Um, and then, uh, Luigi meets, or sorry, Mario meets, uh, Captain Toad, who is very obnoxious and unlikable as a character. Uh, they put no effort into making him distinguished from the others. Um, but he's, he's Captain Toad, pretty much. Hey, actually, Captain Toad's the only reoccurring Toad character that you ever meet. Because I think Captain Toad was in, uh, was in, uh, Mario Galaxy originally, in Mario Galaxy 2. And then they made his own standalone game. I think he may have appeared in other games before as well. But don't I don't know if that's entirely true or not. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, I should get the Song of Mana. That's another one I really like in this game. It's grown. I've grown attached to Song of Mana in this. up. I need something that I can, that would help. I guess Empty Tome would help with, um, cooldown for, yeah, for the, uh, the spinnies. Gotta be careful. Very nice. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, keep going. Okay, um... Hmm. Magic wand... That would be too bad. Magic wand. Um... Eh, well, magic wand isn't the best. It helps for sure, but it's not actually that good. It's like a very basic item that's like, oh look, it shoots with no delay, but it only hits shoots one at a time. So it's like it's not really good at clearing a lot of enemies. So it's actually not worth it. I should just banish it, honestly. Just get rid of it. There we go. Just 
so we don't have to see it again. Um, Santa's water wouldn't be too bad. Uh, knives are okay. That would help with shooting if I were to fully evolve it. That would help with shooting that. Candle, the, the candle thing would be a good idea. Get the candle. That would help with area range. Just in, in general, just being able to hit, keep enemies further away, which means that they would take more damage, which means that they're less likely to come near me and hit me. Okay. Spellbind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Spellbinder. Yes. I do need that, actually. Get that. Okay. What the hell? Yes. Um, this one. Ooh, Song of Mana. Okay. Well, I can't really do the thing that I wanted to do with this now because this is all filled up. So, Song of Mana wouldn't really work anymore. Uh, it would have to be one that works with either one of these. Uh, but Song of Mana is good, but I can't really do anything with it. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know? Okay, um, I guess it doesn't matter with these. I cannot, for the life of me, get... Ooh, nice. Okay, that's good. Base area up. Look at that. Very good. So we're shooting all around us. Um... No. I'm just trying to get the gun, you know? Just trying to get the gun. There it is, finally. Okay. Hopefully we can get it before it's too late. Get it fully leveled up. Okay. Um, I guess the axe, because I don't really have a choice. Okay, good, 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 good. And then I guess uh is that fully leveled up? Not just yet. So let's keep wait. Let's wait. Until we can level up the uh, Bible. Uh, I'll keep talking about the movie in a minute. I'm just focused right now. Just give me a second. Let me, let me cook. Let me cook. Yes. Very good. Yes. How many levels can this go? Oh, it can, it can go pretty high. Okay. Can we get much higher? Um, so, where were we? Oh yeah, so they, um, so they introduced Captain Toad. Uh, he's a character that exists. And, um, he's like, 
He's like taking Mario to the Mushroom Kingdom. The idea is to just introduce the character to the world that th that he's now in. Um, so he can find his brother, Luigi. And then, uh... Oh yeah, I should probably go to this one. Fully level up, not just yet, almost. Almost there. And, um, everything's like all weird and upside down for him because it's not like normal. Like, he, he's just a normal person, I guess. Cool. And, uh,. So, like, he's like, whoa, what the heck's going on here? There's like a whole society of toads and none of them are nice to Mario. Because I guess he's just not their race. So they're, they're like incredibly like mean towards him uh, at first and don't like him. Uh, it's not until the end of the film where they start liking him. I'm just wondering why he's there the entire time. Um, and then we're introduced into, to like the princess who is like, grab this. Um, yeah, we're introduced to the princess and she's like getting ready to go kill Bowser. Because, I don't know, they have nothing else better to do. I forget the reason why she's immediately getting ready to go kill Bowser other than something. So in the original game, um, all the, all the like blocks and stuff are actually toads because Bowser turned them into blocks. That's the canonical lore of the first game. Um, and so every block that you're breaking is actually a toad in that game, which I guess Mario knows at the time that you are playing. He, he knows that those are toads. The player does not know that they're toads. But you break them anyways for points. Because, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, because they can. And, um, what was it? So, um, okay, this is too loud. Hold on. There we go. That's a little better. Um, how many more levels until? That's going to be a while, so I might as well do this. There we go. Um, so, uh, she, she's getting ready to go do that or whatever. And then Peach is like, he like runs towards Peach and then Peach like karate move knocks him out. Um, which is not like the games at all, but I guess they wanted to make her like, uh, strong and independent, which is different from the games where she uh she's always getting kidnapped by bowser but i guess they didn't want that for their i guess that would, that would be too controversial to have in the mario movie um so they wanted to have a good a strong message uh for women assuming that's why they did it there's no other reason why they would just completely change the character's personality and also the voice actor is completely different 
Like, it's not, it's, it, it, there's nothing wrong with having different voice actors like they did with Mario, I guess. Like, Mario's voice actor, Chris Pratt did okay. Like, it doesn't really, I guess it works, but not really, because, I don't know. I just, I would have hoped that they would have been more true to the material that they're doing, but I guess not. Because I guess the illumination is just really, really stupid. Um... And, uh, yeah, the source material that, you know, they, they, they have so much to work with to make a good, to make a good movie and they just completely fail. But, you know, again, I guess it's a kid's movie, I guess, or I, I don't know. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a for everyone movie or if it, it or if it was like, I don't, I, I genuinely don't know what they were going for. Oh, nice. We got it. All right, cool. Here's um, a really good item. Look at that. Wow. So epic. Oh, and since um, I guess I have zero, I have like very little cooldown, this just keeps going in infinitely. Good to know. Okay, so next thing we're going to get is whatever uh, works with either of these items we don't have synergies for yet. So let's see. Um, okay, so we could either do the magic wand or the fire wand. We're going to do the fire wand because it's better than the magic wand. Um, so, um, so now Peach is a, um, so yeah, so Peach's voice actor doesn't make sense for the character. And I mean, I guess it makes sense for their version of the character. But it doesn't make sense in terms of the original character. It sounds nothing like none of the characters really sound like their video game characters at all. They just make fun of it in the movie. They make fun of the fact that they're not like that they're stereotypical characters or something. I don't know. Like the beginning of the film literally makes fun of the original voice acting work for most of their games that they continue to do anyways. Um so I don't I don't know what the point of that was. Uh but again, I don't think Nintendo even wrote the film, so it's not like I can really blame Nintendo per se, but I mean, I'm not a Nintendo fanboy per really. I mean, I'd like the games when they're good. I don't like them when they're mediocre. Like for instance, uh, I think Mario Odyssey and like Mario 64 and Breath of the Wild, I think they're way over hyped because they're too simple of a game. Like they're basically just the, they, they didn't innovate on anything. It's not innovative. It's just, it has Nintendo characters that people like and people go apeshit for it because it's Nintendo characters that they like even though like Zel literally Link has zero personality he is just the baseline character that you'd have for a hero yet somehow people have applied a personality to him even though it's not really a character with anything really noteworthy about him same with Zelda same with Ganondorf. None of them are really interesting characters whatsoever, but people will have like this embellished idea that they're deep and interesting people when they're just there to make a simple cookie cutter game every time. And they're, they've been perfectly crafted for it. Like the storyline is literally, the entire storyline or timeline of Zelda is literally depicting the concept is that they both, they're, they're, they're doomed to all, all three of them are doomed to fight against each other indefinitely, um, for the rest of their lives. They, they have no other, that's literally the story I'm pretty sure is that they like cursed to do that over and over and over again. So they have no purpose other than to make merchandise and to uh, make the exact same games over and over again. And, uh, yeah, people eat that shit up. 
They eat it up like a McDonald's Big Mac or a Chick-fil-A or Starbucks. Wow. Um So um <clears throat> What was it? Hmm, grab that. There we go. Um so, so Peach is like, oh my god, you're human. She never understood, she didn't even, like, fathom the idea that there could be, that you could just leave the Mushroom Kingdom at any time because the pipe that they came through literally leads straight to the real world. But, okay. So, um, that's a thing. And then, uh, what was it? So she decides she's going to train Mario. Well, no, first of all, she says, if you can pass this course, then you can come with me. And then he doesn't pass the course. And then she keeps letting him try over and over and over again until he passes it. Because, you know, he didn't give up, but she made it sound like he only had one attempt to do so. It's like, okay. Maybe I'm just- that's maybe just me nitpicking right then and there. That's- that's like a nitpicky thing to, to say, but... I mean, really, she didn't sound like he could just keep attempting it over and over and over again. And he's not somebody- they've already established that he's gonna keep trying to fix it. Or fix whatever thing that he's worried about or something. Um... And then, uh... He eventually does it. Also, he hates mushrooms. Um, which is, I guess the joke is that that's not normally what his character, like, there's never been anywhere in the storyline where he is, was a person who hated mushrooms because he literally ate mushrooms in all the games anyways. So, I don't know what the deal was with that. Um, I guess, again, I think it's literally just, it was just to make a joke. And it wasn't necessarily that funny. Uh, he hates mushrooms and now he's being for actually the joke um, about him hating mushrooms and then him saying oh it's ironic how there's like mushrooms around him I thought that was pretty good um, now I, at least that one paid off but the part where he actually had to eat it uh, I think it was overdone at that I don't know uh, maybe it was an okay joke but if they do it a billion times then it's not funny which I think they did one other time. And then they just stopped making that his head cannon anymore. And he eventually starts eating them anyways and just doesn't care anymore. He gives up and accepts his fate. Um and then uh what was the next part? Uh so eventually he he eats a mushroom and it makes him bigger and all they did was just put like a they just scaled his his character model up so they don't cha make a new character model for his evolved version because that wouldn't make any sense they just make him go from smaller to I'm dead except I'm not actually I lied um make him go from his smaller version to his uh to like the larger one and that's how they explain it is they just up his scale so whatever it would have been cooler if they actually did something unique with his upgraded version and... Yeah. Um... Oh yeah, I, I also did like a... A fake laugh... For the, um... <clears throat> I did like a fake laugh for the, uh... For the part where, um, they did like the, what was it? There, <laughs> what was the joke that, oh yeah, so there was like a whole, I'll get to it. It's about Cat Mario or something. 
Um. <clears throat> um. So, uh. After he does that, they go off to then introduce, uh, the Kong race or whatever, the King Kong tribe. Or not King Kong, it was just Donkey Kong tribe. And they go, they get picked up in a cart and then they drive around in a cart. Because I guess the Kong brothers or family, I guess, are really big fans of karting. But it really was just a way to enter, like, just to reference... Later on in the film, they want to reference Mario Kart 8, which is the worst one. Well, I get it's not the worst one, but it's one of the not as good ones as compared to the later games because it's literally just the meta of that game is play as either Waluigi on the Wiggler or um, don't play. Like every game has its own like meta or whatever, except for. Um, Except for Double Dash. Double Dash was... Pretty much didn't have a meta. And, um... Mario Kart... Wii... Had its own meta where you either play... Where you just play as, uh... Funky Kong. On the, uh... The Flame Runner. Or something. That was that meta. I think what I liked about, um... Donkey Kong... Or, sorry, Mario Kart Wii was the fact that it was... It was pretty much glitchy. There's a lot of, like, shortcuts you can do in Mario Kart Wii that I thought were kind of interesting and also takes a lot of skill to do, and I'm dead. Well, actually, wait, no, I'm not. I lied. I'm gonna try to kill him. Uh, no, I'm dead. GG. Oh, I'm actually alive again. Hold on. Now I'm dead. Dang. Okay. Well, there's that. Uh, I, f I finished Dairy Farm. There's that. Uh, yeah, so I finished the Dairy Farm for, for Poe. Now I need to do Gallo Tower, which is um, this one. Gallo Tower. <clears throat> Welcome to this one. Uh, I don't know. Um, this one. Oh yeah, I forgot how much I hate this one. Uh, okay. Uh, bone. Okay, um, reroll. Garlic. Here we go. I don't feel like I'm being threatened every two seconds. Vinto, whatever it's called. Attractorb. Bone. Nice. Garlic. I like the bone. Uh, gun. No, whip. It has so far been not doing anything. That's okay. Garlic. Whip. Watch me whip. And now watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip. And now watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Um, what was it? So the film. Uh, fucking. Uh, so now that he's learned how power-ups work in the- that power-ups exist in the game, 
uh, that make humans stronger and other characters stronger, except none of the other characters ever use them. Except, actually, no, wait, sorry. Donkey Kong uses one. Never mind. Donkey Kong does, in fact, use one. And it just makes them bigger than normal. Because why spend the budget on making a different model for the upgraded version to just make them slightly bigger and glow a little bit? That makes sense, right? Uh, spinach was actually a good idea. So I'm going to do the spinach. It helps a lot down the line. Um, what was it? So, yeah, do that. Uh, fuck. Stop hitting me. Uh, augment. Tract orb. Uh, fucking. So they go to the Donkey Kong area. And then they're like, no, we don't want to help you fight Bowser. All, but we will help you fight Bowser if... Uh, if you fight Donkey Kong in a duel. And then Mario's like... I gotta do something here because I'm, I've become a completely useless character in this story. Uh... I'll do it. And then... Donkey Kong and... Uh... Donkey Kong and Mario face off in a... In a... In a... Deadly battle. Between each other. Which is super deadly. And there's like a pit of water under them. And that they could get hurt. And then they fight. And then uh... Mario gets, uh, they show off the mini mushroom because Mario doesn't realize that there's such thing as a mini mushroom. And then he gets a new item and it's Cat Mario. And then Cat Mario goes meow. And then I did my fake laugh because I thought it was really stupid. But I pretended that I thought it was really funny. Um... And it was really, it was a really loud laugh to signify that I thought it was funny, but I actually didn't secretly. Um, because he just went meow after he'd licked himself. He's, he was pretending to be a cat. He started role-playing as being a cat. Like, because he was dressed up as one, therefore he needs to act like a cat. And then he starts moving really fast. And then, it, like, he also somehow has, like, super strength all of a sudden. Because I guess Cat Mario can do that now. He has, like, super ultra mega strength. More than before. And then, uh... And then, uh, that's not... That wasn't my upgrade. I that didn't upgrade my... My thing. Um, yeah, so, uh, he goes, uh, so he, he knocks out Donkey Kong, and then he wins, and then the Donkey Kong characters decide they're gonna, okay, I guess we'll help now, because my, my, uh, person that I, I don't know, they, uh, they didn't really... He didn't win, and I'm upset, or whatever. Anyway, so, they get on their cars, and they start driving, uh, I guess towards Bowser's location. And then they get on Rainbow Road, and then they get ambushed on Rainbow Road, um, by the Bowser's, uh, and, like, the Koopas and stuff. And then they have, like, a an action scene where they're on carts, fighting each other. And then, uh... Die. Please die. Okay, or don't. Die. 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 Okay. Wow. No upgrade for my, uh, funny garlic, I guess. Uh... So, 
um, they fight and then they lose against the Koopas because one of the Koopas was actually a blue shell Koopa all along. And then the blue shell Koopa wraps around and explodes their cart. Uh, and then the, the Donkey Kong characters almost drown. And it's very serious because Donkey Kong and and Mario had like this artificial anger against each other because they had to fight against each other. Therefore, they hate each other now. And now that Mario went out of his way to save him, now Donkey Kong thinks he's kind of cool now. So that's, that means it's okay for him to be like, yeah, we're cool now. And then, uh... I don't know, at some point, Peach gets like, decides that she's gonna ambush Bowser by marrying pretending to marry bowser because that's now the new plot is that bowser wants to marry uh peach and um oh remember that there's the superstar yeah that doesn't don't don't worry about that that's not actually the main plot anymore that's not like the main plot that he has the superstar which is supposed to you know maybe mean that he could use the superstar to take over the world i don't i just i don't know why he cares so much about the superstar um, but he really does care about the superstar for some reason. So, um, unless they, they for some reason mention it, they don't. They have some funny co comedic scenes with Bowser as he, um, prepares to marry Peach. Uh, and then, uh, okay, I want to do, um, This one. You know, why haven't I gotten my upgrade yet? Um, okay, uh, shoot, I guess, I guess the holy water. Which one does the holy water go to? Oh, okay. So, uh, Ooh. Oh jeez, there's the there's the big guy, there's the big cheese. Um So now they have like a battle between Bow like Bowser gets frozen for half of it. They make Bowser like completely weak and not like powerful whatsoever, so he's just frozen for a while. While they do this whole scene where they fight a bunch of other people. In the group. Why does it not want to give me the garlic? I have the heart. Does the heart have to be upgraded a certain amount before it lets me use it? Yes. There must be some kind of criteria I'm missing. Now it's level 2. Does that mean I can get it now? Song of Mana. Song of Mana. Um. What was it? So, uh. Oh, shoot. 
Yeah, yeah, song of mana. No, 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 recovery. So then maybe it'll actually give it to me. Stop. Stop hurting me. Stop that. I need to get across this, so... You guys... Let me get across. There we go. Oh my god. Uh spinach. So spinach does more damage. There's the other one. Okay, please. Harpy or whatever the fuck you are. Give me give me the upgraded fucking thing. There we go. Okay. I'm like, why is it not giving me the soul eater? There we go, that's what's up. Now we're- now we're getting places. Okay. Um... <sighs> um... Okay, so anyways, uh... So, then Mario gets chased by a bullet bill, and, uh, after they have, like, this whole scene where they, like, almost die to lava, and then Donkey Kong runs up there and then starts pulling the lever back so he can save them from dying, and then, uh, and then they, the bullet bill follows them, and then they go into the pipe, and then, uh, the pipe like the pipe like explodes or something and then they go in there and now they're in the real world and now they're in now they're endangering people in the real world who don't have powers or something um or in anything of note they don't li they live in a real you know they live in a society and uh why am i like glowing weird what's the deal with this um, and then, uh, stop it. Eight. Do that. And then. Uh, and then, uh, fucking. Now they're in a. Now they're in a. Uh, uh, now they have to f uh, fight Bowser. And then they see the uh, a star item. And Mario suddenly knows what the fuck that is. So he runs towards it. Uh, as if he knows what that is. Uh, even though it was never really. I'm pretty sure it was never established that the superstar gives him, like, invincibility or anything. But he, he runs towards it, and then Bowser's like, no, you can't have that. Because for some reason, I forget how he even got that star anyways. I, I think it just appears out of nowhere, from what I remember. Um, and then uh, Bowser's like, "Rar, No, you can't have that. And then um, they get it anyways. And then they stop Bowser. Uh, and then... They start, and then they, they live in the Mushroom Kingdom now. Even though that's not where business is anymore. They're not making money, but they get to live there for free, so it's okay. And I guess fuck the real world. And fuck their family, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they'll establish that they actually go back to the real world now, anyways. Even though they just left. They just did more damage. By the time they came back into the real world, they did more damage than they did to that house. So they only cause, they only make it worse for the real world. Um, in this, what I guess that's what they were going for. But that's that's what happened. They just basically make everything worse happen there. But in the Mushroom Kingdom, their mistakes are actually they end up making things better in the Mushroom Kingdom. So maybe it's a good idea that they're staying in the Mushroom Kingdom so they don't cause more harm. It's a good thing. Uh... 
Uh, this one. But yeah, that's just a theory. A game theory. Um. Um uh um yes okay yes me this uh me this give me this I throw bones Throw bones like there's no tomorrow. Uh, this one. This one. This one. Um, this one. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. This guy won't die. Yeah, put him in a corner. Um. Kill him. I don't know who this is, but. Bloody tear thing or whatever. Okay, he's gone. I don't know where that person went. They're just gone now. They just decided they're not gonna exist anymore. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is he? Where's that guy at? I don't Did he get knocked off the planet? What happened to him? For some reason he can use the mouse to move around. I guess he's- I guess he's just gone forever. I don't know what happened to him. That was my chance. This is annoying. If only I got the upgraded version of, uh, of this. Well, I'm dead. Stop it. God damn it. Okay. Well, I really needed that, uh, that guy to not disappear on me. So I could get the upgraded, you know, fully upgraded one and then get another item. On top of it, but, you know, it's okay. I guess I'll just die now. That's it for me, I guess. Because I can't get a fucking break here. Joke's on me. Stop. There we go. Okay, this guy. This guy. Just 
Don't let him hit you. Stop it. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay. This thing is... Might be able to help. Let's see. Now we can actually get some other things. Like, for instance... Well, actually, I wouldn't be able to do much with that. I guess it would help, wouldn't it? Um, it's either the cat or the pentagram. I guess I'll do the pentagram. Save me some time. I, I think this is actually helping. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they, they live in the Mario universe and then uh yeah that's pretty much it they the they movie ends and um they're gonna make about a billion sequels and they're all gonna be their own uni in universe lore and it's not gonna be really it's not really gonna make sense or anything that's worthwhile like you know pixar movies could I'm sorry, but just because it's a kid's movie doesn't mean that it can have a compelling story. It's been done before. You can- you can have a movie for everyone. You can have a kid's movie, but it's actually for everybody. And it can- it can in fact exist. It's not an impossibility, it's just Illumination sucks ass at it. All they know is a, is making a stupid kids movie that is probably only rewatchable for a certain specific era. And I guess that's that's all that you really need really is is to sell merchandise and whatnot. I guess you don't you don't need to go above and beyond when you don't need to uh, to some some people. But I would have wanted more out of a film that is supposed to be dedicated to Mario fans. Or at least they they, tr they pay homage to Mario fans as much as possible, but in reality, they're just making a kid's movie with Mario references. It's just... I would have expected more. And it doesn't help that Nintendo, like, dick suckers exist. Who are praising the film. Probably. Cool. I made money. Dead. I think that's fully upgraded now. It is. I guess there's no evolution for the bones yet. I haven't seen it. If there is. So I have to survive this for another 10 minutes. I've, I've pretty much gotten everything upgraded now. Uh, yeah, so I give the movie like a, a, um, 4 out of 10. I thought it was below average. Um, or well, I thought it was average as a film and below average because it fails to make me want to ever rewatch it ever again because I'm not missing anything at all. It, it just doesn't follow, it doesn't follow through with... Like, why did they start the film with getting the superstar if it has- carries no significance other than to end the film? To have a finality ending to where the two brothers are fighting against Bowser. Wow. <laughs> so epic. So cool. The movie was made to make money and nothing else. It's soulless. And it hurts. It hurts because they could have done so much. The Mario series. They could have been more faithful to the games. Way more faithful to the games. And they didn't. Because the people who I guess write the movies. Literally don't know anything about the games. Other than they are stereotypical Italian characters. But they're actually not. In the movie. Let's make fun of the fact that they're stereotypical Mario characters. Okay. And they're plumbers who are not 
able to succeed at their job because they ran into something that was really stupid. For some reason, the... For some reason, uh, the dog is sentient and hates the Mario characters for breaking their chew bone. Because we made a movie called Pets, so all the pets in any of the films we make have to be, like, alive and ha sentient and not just an animal. They have to have an entire per cartoonic, per uh, you know, cartoonish personality behind them. And cause conflict for the Mario characters. Because that's all that was. That entire, f like, that entire point of the dog being, like, angry at them was to just plug the idea that their Pets movie existed. If you remember that, Pets 1 and Pets 2, where the dogs and animals are alive and sentient. So they have to, they have to have continuity with their other films. By referencing that. But you didn't know that happened. Um, I just thought it was dumb. And then, uh, I don't know. Make Peach nothing like her character and make Mario, I guess, like his character. I guess that would be what Mario would be like. I, I mean, like, they're, again, they have to give personality to these characters that... I guess generally didn't have a personality or depth to their character to begin with, so they they develop. They ha they decide that they need to develop an entire personality and depth to these characters within one hour and thirty minutes of, of runtime, uh, which is just impossible to do. I mean, well, okay, it's not impossible to do. It's just really hard for a company like Illumination to do because they tried to do it. And they failed, in my opinion. It's just such a mess of a movie because everything goes by too quickly. You never have time to really work anything into anything. So it's just like, oh look, it's like basically an ADHD film. Look, look, here's Rainbow Road. Oh look, look, here's Donkey Kong's on bikes. Look, 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 here's uh, Diddy Kong and Cranky Kong. Look, 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 um... Look, they're at a wedding. Look, look, look. Uh, they're in the ocean and the water is animated. Oh, look, 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 look. Um, um, uh, they're in Brooklyn. Look, 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 look. They're in, uh, 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 the movie's over. Movie's over. Oh, uh, they're in a sewer for like uh, two minutes. That's how they get into the other world. I couldn't move. I can't move. Okay, there, I can't. I can't do anything. This is kind of really stupid. Okay. Um. Uh. So yeah. Anyways, it's that's pretty much it for the film. It's it's not noteworthy at all. I just say that it's good, but it, it, I mean, like, it's not. I think the facial expression in the mouth, like, the animation that they did with Peach and stuff was just weird. It just looked weird to me because it's just, like, off-putting that they're giving her, like, they're giving her Disney face or Pixar face when it just doesn't match with the animation style. And I don't know. It's just, like, it's nothing like what... The games established, at least if there was any amount of lore, the games establish almost nothing. But you could have at least worked with that and made some kind of plot related to that. You could have just made Mario 64 an entire movie, and it would have been better. But they didn't do anything with the Mario 64 universe or anything like that. You know, the most popular Mario game ever made, Mario 64, they don't do anything with that. <laughs> that would have been a, real, a lot more of an interesting concept, I feel like, because it's the most popular one. I'm sure even kids know what Mario 64 is. They don't need to make reference to Mario Kart 8. I mean, I understand that's the safe option, but... I, I, just, I feel like there could have been something they could have done. 
I feel like they, they could have there's they, there's some way they could have made a really good film, but they just didn't do it. Maybe I'm not the one to talk, but I know that fucking Nintendo fucking drones probably liked the film enough, so I know fucking Donkey did, and he barely explained any of the films. He was just like, well, there's references, and I read like one of the comments on his YouTube video was, I liked the film because my girlfriend was with me, and there's Donkey Kong in it. I think that was the one of the comments. It was literally, hold on. Let me pull up the, the review, which wasn't even really a review of the film. It was just talking about how he liked the references of the film. Um, let me see. Let's see. I just, I just really do feel like, um... I liked this movie because I saw it with my wife and there was food and I liked the source material. Thanks, Stunky. Yeah, that was the comment. That was a month ago. I guess people are okay with uh, the idea that the film should... It's okay to have a film with no substance to it, apparently. It's okay, it's okay to make a film that has no purpose or any kind of significance to a movie that is supposed to appeal to pretty much everyone. It's just a kid's movie. And the problem with that is they're making, they're also like, if it's, if it's just a kid's movie, that's fine, right? It's, it can be stupid and, and dumb or whatever, but they also go out of their way to reference like Mario's Super Mario 3, Super Mario World, Smash Brothers Melee. All these games that were, like, the only game, like, that I, I can tell that, like, they referenced that was the new Mario stuff that, like, kids would actually know was, um, I guess Luigi's Mansion, but they didn't even really mention Luigi's Mansion whatsoever. It was just Luigi in a spooky forest. Um, uh, Mario Kart 8. That's the most recent Mario Kart, and that's the most popular one among the majority of people, which means that that's the one that the kids would have played. And then um, Mario Odyssey with Bowser wanting to marry Peach, which was the entire concept of Mario Odyssey. Not the other ones. Okay, I'm dead. I, j I just, I don't even know how you're supposed to survive this. Like, what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? How are you supposed to survive this? <laughs> what? I don't even know how you're supposed to survive that, honestly. What is this? Okay. I guess that's to tell you you got, like, the special chest. Cool. I guess that's that. Um, I guess we'll do, uh, let's do, let's do this guy. I, I don't even know how you play him yet. Hold on. Actually, let's, let's go to the, <clears throat> let's do this guy. And then we'll do, uh, Mad Forest. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then we'll do, uh, do lightning rod. Alright, shoot them down with lightning. 
Um, but you know, again, like, I just hate that concept that, like, I'm sorry, but like, kids' movies can have substance. They don't need to be stupid. Like, I'm sorry that, like, Minions and, like, Illumination has lowered the standards and what you can do in films to a bunch of noises. You know? Like, a movie should have something to it, in, in general. It shouldn't just be mindless, you know? It shouldn't just only appeal to one specific audience and then never, never progress with it whatsoever. And a Mario movie just, if it wanted to be a kid's movie, I wish it did more to, if they were trying to appeal to everyone, which they were trying to, they were trying to appeal, appeal to everyone. It's an everyone film considering they're making references to literal old games that most kids haven't even played in, at that age of the people who are watching it, if they're kids from that era, you know, and anybody who did grow up with those games, like me, I just happened to, I would, didn't even grow up with, well, no, 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 I, I didn't, like, I wasn't, like, five years old when I had a, a SNES. I was probably, like, maybe seven or something, and that just happened to be the case because somebody else in my family had an SNES or NES or anything like that. So, I just happened to own those, or, like, at least play them at some point when I was younger. I didn't grow up, I wasn't around when it released, you know? The consoles that I was around when when they released was um, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, PS3. Uh, I grew up in the, like, I think second generation, or I guess that was second or third generation of, of you know, gaming consoles. So, I'm gonna do, uh, King Bible. Can't really do anything else, so I'm gonna do uh, reroll, and then I guess I'll do uh, stone mask. Uh, spellbinder thing. Um, yeah. This is another good one. Uh, fucking... I don't know. Yeah, Pentagram. Um... Yeah, it's just like, you know, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, fucking... Wally, -E, for Christ's sake. Uh... That's another really good... Would you, would you say... I don't know. I guess that wouldn't be a good example because I never saw it. Um, what is what is a kid's movie? Spongebob movie. There's a perfect example of a movie that you can do. You can have as a really interesting story and it be literally a film that is for kids, but it's, it's for everyone. It's actually for everybody. Spongebob movie, you know, stands the test of time. For that fact alone. That's why it's a memorable film. It's because not only was it well written, but you know, you can enjoy it as an adult. And you can enjoy it, you know, as a kid. You just like SpongeBob itself, you can enjoy it as an adult as you can enjoy it as a kid. At least the original, like, you know. I'm not saying the newer seasons, or the original three seasons, and maybe the fourth one. But, you get what I mean? It's just like, you can, you can make films. I'm just tired, I'm just annoyed that Illumination has lowered the bar significantly. And the reason why it lowered the bar is because it's successful. So other films, it's become the standard for how a, like, a kid's film could be, you know? And I guess some people just, it's like one of those things that it doesn't matter. But 
when you grow up with certain films, like for me, I grew up with SpongeBob, I grew up with uh, the Toy Story, and other Pixar films, it's like, I can go back to those films at any point in time and really enjoy them. And just remember, you know, I can always be like, you know, I'm happy that I got to experience this as a kid. But with these other films like Minions and Minions, <laughs> Minions 2 and uh, Despicable Me 2 or The Grinch by Illumination, you know, you could watch, you could watch The Grinch with like, um, Jim Carrey, like in any age, you can watch Santa Claus 1 and 2 or anything like that at any age, you can watch Elf at any age. And that, that's Elf, by the way, you know, like, you can watch these movies at any age. And they have a really interesting story and compelling story to tell. Um, that's, this, you know, like, it's not hard to, uh, well, it is, I guess it is hard, because Illumination can't do it, but... That's what I'm saying, man. It's just like, I was really hoping, you know, a film that's supposed to be for people like me and kids, you know, people who grew up with Mario, you'd think that they would try a lot better, especially with Nintendo having involvement with it. But they just failed to deliver, man. And it, it upsets me because I really want a film that I could go... I really wanted a Mario film or something like that to be able to go back to and be like, this was a good, you know, this was good. I'm I'm willing to rewatch this. I don't need to ever rewatch the film ever again. Um, I, I have that feeling where I'm like, it wasn't good enough to where I'm like, I can go back to it. I really cannot go back to that film because it just wasn't interesting enough. And I don't know if they, there's other reasons why they played it safe because there's no, they shouldn't even complain if they're, if it's a budgetary thing. There's no reason it should be a budget related issue. They had so much time to work on it. Way more than their other films most likely, but I'm just, I just want better. I mean, maybe the Mario 2 movie will be better. Maybe now that they've established some kind of origin story that maybe they'll actually do something interesting like like I say like Wario comes in and does some wacky things with Waluigi or they do they do something more interesting but I can't really see it. I, I don't know what they can do f with the film other than the f like just one movie. Um, I'm trying to think on what they could do because they never, they, they literally never even establish like any kind of like, oh, we're going to continue the film. There's no like, maybe there's something at the end credits, but I completely, I just wanted to leave at that point. So I didn't even watch for after credits, cutscenes or anything. Uh, so I don't know if they plan on actually continuing the lore or anything like, you know, like making a second one, but I'm sure they will because it made a lot of money. <laughs> it continues to um, work out for illumination in every way possible. I think my biggest problem with, um, Despicable Me, and this was, like, you know, I saw it when I was a lot younger, is that I wanted a film to be about villains, and I never wanted the character to suddenly decide after, like, a little bit that they're not a villain anymore. And I think that's where a lot of people have issues with it, is that we want to be able to like villains, you know, or not like villains, but we want to see a bad character, you know, like we want to see a bad guy, but no, he, he, he changes, he, he changes face like halfway through the film or not even, probably not even halfway through the film. 
I guess, yeah, no, halfway through the film, he changes face, and I don't, I don't get why they did that, I, other than they wanted to have a, they wanted to do, like, the cookie cutter, look at the good ending, here's a good, here's good guy, you can be bad guy, but you can also become good guy, but it's just not interesting, and then Despicable Me 2 just continues that fact, I guess, I guess, um, Sorry, Despicable Me 1, I guess, does end on the character willing to be, be a villain still. But on Despicable Me 2, he definitely becomes a not a villain anymore. And he becomes, like, a, a hero who's working for a hero, superhero person. He's, like, an agent or something who's supposed to stop villains or something. Uh, so... Meh. Oh, another really good, you know, here's another good ex example of a kid's movie that can be watched by everyone. Um, the Scooby-Doo movies, like the live action ones, and on top, like the live action ones were actually supposed to be like parodies of the films, of like the, the show and everything, of the characters. At least the original one was. They were supposed to be like literally making fun of the characters stereotypes and making them even more over the top and stupid which is why they like they're kind of like really stupid in the the light the first live action film and then in the second one they're a lot more meaningful the the voice you know like the actors actually i guess the actors are really good in the second one the second one of the live action is my favorite one i need to rewatch that again at some point because that ending is really good too it has a good payoff it's one of those films that have like a very predictable-ish payoff, but it's still really good, and it's also funny at the same time. Same with, <laughs> same with like the first one. The first one I've I've grown to like a lot as well as I've gotten older. The first one I used to not like as a kid because I just, I just thought it was just gross-out humor, and I mean it is. But now with the new level of, just like oh, it's it's purposely doing that because that's just how the characters were, I guess, or like they're just supposed to be a parody of the original ones. <laughs> like they, they do like a weed joke like five minutes into the film or something. Um, Daphne gets like, Daphne gets caught or something, which is not, doesn't make sense. Velma loses her glasses and then like, <laughs> I don't know, it's such a stupid like intro. That's way over the top and really dumb and then the, after they're done with it, they're like, we're done. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> That's... It's good. Okay. It's really good. Um, and then like the zombie island is really, really good. The where they go to like uh, the, you know, vampire island is or not island, but vampire mountain or something is also good too. The, the wit dealing with like the witches and stuff is really good. The UFO one is really good. Like all those films are just really, really well put together. And this, like I said, another good example of a film that can be for kids, but everyone can watch it. And it's just like, all you need is really good writing. If you, if you can, if you can do it right, you can succeed. And it's just like, they could have done so much more, and I hate that people are just accepting that as like, oh, this is okay. But it's it's like it could be better. It, it could definitely be better. We shouldn't just accept it because, oh, it's a kid's movie, but kid's movies don't have to be dumb to be enjoyable. It, it can be, it can still have smart writing in it. It doesn't just have to be references all day. And look, here's the thing that you saw when you were a kid and we are m making acknowledgement that this was something look mario did the f the uh, the original yahoo jump animation pose see we can make the character just like the video game one definitely look he is now cat mario from the the other mario game that no one cared about <laughs> Three, Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U because everybody remembers the Wii U it's just 
Wreck It Ralph did a way better job at making like a video game movie. Honestly. Because at least they took a concept and made it interesting. It's just like, I'm, I'm, I can't believe that wreck -It Ralph, which, who made wreck -It Ralph anyways? I hope it's Illumination, because at least then I don't have to keep bashing on Illumination. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me turn, hold on. Also, that's, that's cut off now, so I have to fix that. this and then cut it off like that and then I'm sorry if you have to see like a tiny bit of thing over there actually you know what hold on I have a better idea just do this can I just stretch it You know what? That's actually okay. I'll do that. That's okay. It's not like you'll notice it that much. Okay. Nope. Wait. Hold on. Keep doing it. Shoot. There. Okay. That should be okay. Let me go ahead and search this up. Let me turn that off. And then... Search up, um, who made Wreck-It Ralph 2012, who made it? Walt Disney. Disney, Disney made it. Okay. It's not a bad film. It's, it's a pretty, it's a good, you know, it's a pretty good, um, uh, what was it? Video game movie that makes a lot of references to video games but it's a kid it's a kids movie and do I say that the story's better I haven't seen it in a long time all I remember is there's this girl who is stuck in the video game or something I forget I forget the lore or like she can transfer between lore. hold on Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so... 
I completely forgot, like, what the concept of the, uh, the movie's, like, TBH. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading a message. Okay. Um, King Bible. Yeah, so, um, I think it's like this girl can, like, go through different worlds or something. Oh, yeah, revive. Rip. Already died. Not, not a big surprise. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Ah, uh, damn. Do we just not have anything, like, good right now? Oh yeah, I need the duplicator, that's right. Anyways, yeah, I, I thought, I remember, I distinctly remember thinking Wreck-It Ralph was a pretty decent film. At least for its time, because nobody could do a video game movie that well, and... Even though it was, it was basically just like, the entire movie was like, uh, okay, so here is, I'm dead. Rip. This character sucks. Character sucks. But, I think I need to do it to unlock that. I don't remember. I think you can get this without, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you have to do something for that. There's this guy. I actually don't even know this what his ability does, so I'm, I'm gonna do him. Um, what does this do? Oh, it's trains. Okay. Um. This one. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, um, I got my food, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I guess, in the stream and eat, now, I feel like I got my, I feel like I got my complaints I wanted to get out for, uh, I guess, just the Mario movie, this is the only interesting thing that I've done recently. So I need to go like this, pretty much, and then you just hit all of them, I guess. Cool. I'm just like a, a weird train conductor guy. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's that. I'm gonna stop there. What is this? Banish 4?
What did I do? I guess I'll power that up. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be that. Buzzingus. Yeah. So, that's gonna be that. I, I'm done talking about the movie. And uh, I'm going to go now and eat. Because I'm hungry. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow. So we'll see what I do then. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, bye.